what makes us unique is uh, we're truly integrated design build. What that means is you can come to our firm and uh, have the same team take you from architecture design to interior design to landscape design and then all the way through to construction. Mm -hmm. Now that's important to clients uh, because they are working with one team. Uh, what they've dreamed up in the beginning with our team, you know, their requirements, their lifestyles, all of that stuff, mm -hmm. that gets captured right from the beginning and then we take it through to the different design stages, uh, help with the city permit and then build it properly. So none of the um, vision is lost. So Eric, uh, here we are in the kitchen. There's so many items I see that are so unconventional. Why don't you uh, tell me a little bit more about this place? Yeah, uh, you know, again, it's that French country kitchen that I'm trying to create. Mm -hmm. uh, the rustic beams uh, reclaimed, mm -hmm. um, the white statue of marble mm -hmm. uh, that was reflected from the fireplace and also we brought it up to the backsplash there. Mm -hmm. But with any luxury kitchen the main thing is the fridge uh, and also the big range. So we've yeah. really paid a lot of attention to both of those. Tell me about the, the fridge first. It's uh, very unique. Yeah, for sure. The, the fridge is a, a sub-zero fridge and it's a combination. It's actually a three column combination. Um, a 30 inch, 36 inch and a 30 inch. So we've combined the fridge, the freezer and a wine cooler. Hit. Yeah. And the design is really what makes it unique here because what I did was I took uh, concealed panels and I designed it and made it look like an old furniture armor that's just kind of pushed into the space. Yeah. You know, so that, that again, that, that, that bit of a rustic uh, throwback to uh, just a French furniture piece. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and then I saw this counter here. It's uh, difficult, like there, it's not a, it's like a rounded corner. Yeah, what we've done here is, uh, this is called an OG edge, and it's a very traditional way of doing countertops. The French, the Europeans used it a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course the white marble is a classic material. And I really wanted to mix the old and the new together. So mm -hmm. on this island, we've done a very traditional top. But then as you can see on the back island, I've used a Caesar stone um, with a square top. And mm -hmm. just to get that very clean look, almost a concrete look uh, at the back. Um, the trellis frame itself makes it a bit of that furniture look. Mm -hmm. um, the other unique thing is uh, this floor that I've selected here. This is a tile, but it's a rustic print tile. Mm. And this really adds to that country home feeling. Mm. As you can see at the transition between the family room and the tile, uh, that's a very important, uh, important thing to note because a lot of the standard builders won't get into this detail. It's very mm -hmm. hard to execute. Uh, what I wanted was I wanted this room to feel like one big room. So mm. I wanted the family room, the sofa, to feel like part of the kitchen. Yeah. And the, the way to do that would be to run the flooring through, which I have. Mm -hmm. But of course, in a family room, to have tiled floors, it's a bit uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we did what we call an inset carpet rug. Um, and uh, what I did was I designed it with a border to make it look like an area rug. Mm. But I don't like the fact that area rug sits over top of the tile because it's not level. That's right. So what we did here was we actually made the carpet and the tile and the hardwood floor all one level. Mm. And it may be, you know, it, it, it's simple to look at, but if you know the behind the scenes during construction, it's very difficult to get those level because they're different thicknesses. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful and do things ahead of time to skim it, to bring it up to the right level so that the final um, surface is all aligned. So I see that like a typical builder would just separate the flooring completely between the the living room space and the kitchen. Right, right. that would be the easy thing to do. Um, and, and then for this uh, center, the island, they would typically just have the, the typical granite um, counter. Yeah, they would do a granite counter here, probably the same one over there. Really, uh, as, as, a, as a standard home, not much uh, yeah. attention to detail is given to the design aspects. And I haven't seen a wall fridge like that. Usually it would be just um, like the stainless steel wall fridge and then right. Yeah. yeah, usually it's just, uh, you know, sometimes it's not, it's not even integrated like this. Uh, it's just a, a standalone unit. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what level that home is. Uh, but once you get to a luxury home, you know, the client demands that level of uh, detail. And mm -hmm. um, that's very important for a design build company like us to, mm -hmm. to, you know, to bring in a company like us to get that detail right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also noticed that your dishwasher was, uh, it's, it's not 
uh, seen by the naked eye. It's kind of built in. Yeah, it's also a hidden look. Uh, it's yeah. right beside the the uh, the sink there, mm -hmm. and it's an integrated panel, and it's designed to look like a drawer plus a door underneath. Mm. And tell me about your uh, range. It it's, it looks so unique, uh, but I can't pinpoint what what it is. What. Yeah, the range itself, um, it's a uh, wolf range, it's a 36-inch mm -hmm. wolf range, but then I made it extra wide by adding a 15-inch uh, wok burner mm -hmm, beside mm -hmm. it. Now, the statement piece of this whole kitchen is uh, the hood fan. Yes. So we did a custom hood fan that uh, is um, 60 inches wide, and it's a stainless steel shroud that, that we fabricate ourselves uh, to go over top of the hood fan that is there. Wow, so it mm -hmm. makes it look like it had like a grand range. Yeah, definitely a gourmet look kitchen. Yes. Uh, you'll also see that there's a pot filler there mm -hmm. and it's a great idea um, for convenience. Just the big soup pots and everything, mm -hmm. you know, have water right there. And your backsplash is like marble, whereas typically just tiles usually for... Yeah, we brought the same uh, Stachiaro marble on, onto the backsplash just mm -hmm. to tie this whole kitchen together.